Welcome to J is for Justice podcast. If live breaking news and following true crime is your thing, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like what you see in my videos, please consider giving them a thumbs up. Hi everyone and welcome back to Jay is for Justice. My name is Jay and I am your host. I know this subject has been talked about in the past when it comes to Brian Koberger and the visual snow and the Tapa Talk account. But the Idaho Statesman put out a pretty detailed article on the subject and what it's like to have this disorder. The man charged with the stabbing deaths of four University of Idaho students has spent much of his teen and adult life consumed by a rare neurological disorder known as visual snow syndrome. He would talk about it, like, all the time. Thomas Arns, a former friend of Koberger's in high school, told the Idaho Statesman in a phone interview. The word that comes to mind is that he was neurotic about it, and talked about it relentlessly. I guess it truly bothered him to no end. Learning of the condition through Brian Koberger was the first time many people following the case had heard of the little-known condition. Even experts say they have a lot to learn. Visual snow syndrome is a relatively recently observed condition that is believed to have been first described in 1995. It wasn't officially given a name until a 2015 study. People with visual snow report seeing small, moving dots across their vision. Those who grew up before the age of smart TVs should be able to easily picture what it looks like. Visual snow is like looking at the world through a fuzzy, static-filled television. They have like a broken TV box in front of their eyes, Lars Mikkels, a Swiss researcher working on some of the most recent studies of the syndrome, told the statesman in a phone interview. Episodes of snowy vision usually last a minute but can go on for hours, Mikkels said. People report other visual distortions as well. It can look like it's raining when it's not, or as if there are 12 moving cars when there is only one. About half of patients report that visual snow is accompanied by migraines and a ringing in the ears known as tinnitus, both of which can be debilitating. Migraines can be painful enough to prevent people from performing daily activities and tinnitus can make concentration and hearing difficult, according to the Mayo Clinic. Visual snow may affect up to 2% of the population, but not enough research has been done to get a true sense of its prevalence, the Mayo Clinic reported. Mickles said visual snow is often misdiagnosed as either just migraines or just a visual problem. The connection is not always made between the two. A 2020 study found an average age of 29 among visual snow patients, who all reported that symptoms began early in life. The syndrome is equally common among men and women, unlike migraines, which affect women two to three times more than men. Online records suggest that Koberger turned to the internet to talk about his struggles with the condition. A user who appeared to be Koberger posted about visual snow on Tapatok, an online forum, between 2009 and 2012. The New York Times, which was first to report on the Tapatok account, noted that the username matched an email address belonging to Koberger. References to his birthday lined up with his known birth date, and his listed location of effort, Pennsylvania, matched Koberger's hometown. A photo on the account appears to show Koberger. The user, named Xair. Those with visuals now, wrote that he developed the syndrome on September 21, 2009. Koberger was almost 15 years old at that time. Since then, the user said he had changed, mainly from the anxiety and sense of derealization and hopelessness. He wrote frequently of how difficult it was to access memories. Ever since then I have been depressed, he wrote in 2010. I can't remember anything at all. And I always have this horrible pressure in my head. My mind is never not on visual snow and I always wonder what a normal person would be doing while I sit there and suffer. The Tapatalk user described feeling a lack of connection to life, saying his life felt like a video game. At times he was slightly into the game, but other times the game felt pointless and full of nothing. I have had this horrible depersonalization go on in my life for almost two years, a 2011 post said. I often find myself making simple human interactions 
but it is as if I am playing a role playing game. Looking into the faces of family members was like looking at a video game, but less. As my family group hugs and celebrates, I am stuck in this void of nothing. Feeling completely no emotion, feeling nothing. The post said, I feel dirty. Like there is dirt inside my head, my mind. I am always dizzy and confused. I feel no self-worth. Mickles said depersonalization or feeling as if one is in a video game is common. Reliable vision allows our brain to know it is in a stable environment. When seemingly random noises and visual disturbances are continuously popping up, it can make a person feel as if their environment is less grounded in reality. Mickles said living with a condition for which there is no cure can take a toll on one's mental health. People with the syndrome often suffer from mild to moderate depression, fatigue and insomnia. A 2021 study that surveyed 125 visual snow patients found that, patients showed high rates of anxiety and depression, depersonalization, fatigue and poor sleep, which significantly impacted quality of life. Further, psychiatric symptoms, particularly depersonalization, were related to increased severity of visual symptoms, but Mickles isn't aware of a connection between visual snow and aggression. When something is happening in your brain that shouldn't, chemicals are being released that shouldn't. These chemicals are released because we have toxins that our body doesn't want. It is going to be He pointed to a website called Know the Cause, which talks about the many ailments caused by fungi and yeast. The user said he planned to cure his syndrome through the diet on the website. The diet, known as the Kaufman diet, encourages people to eliminate a large number of foods, including sugar, wheat, corn, peanuts, soy, alcohol, and animals that were fed these products before slaughter. The user also wrote, the truth is there is no test for our toxins. We just need to rid ourselves of them. Ernst remembered Koberger trying to cure his visual snow through a diet. Carbohydrates were a big no-no, and you had to stay away from breads and absolutely no sugar. So mostly he would eat slices of ham and omelets, she said. And many people said they recalled Koberger's considerable weight loss in high school. Experts still don't know what causes visual snow syndrome, and there is no known cure. People who develop it have it the rest of their lives. But, as more research is conducted, clues are emerging about its origins. Research indicates that visual snow is connected to something going wrong with the visual processing center in the brain's cerebral cortex, causing it to overload and process sights incorrectly. There's probably too much fuel in the tank of these people, and the brain cannot deal with it, because it's overloaded with information, Mikkels said. An overloaded brain forces it to work more and, similar to the way muscles grow with increased exercise, the high amount of activity causes extra brain growth. Mikkel's research involves analyzing images taken of the brains of visual snow patients. Researchers can see that a part of their brains is expanded, causing them to suspect this abnormal growth may be linked to visual snow symptoms. After learning all of this about visual snow, do you think that this is something that Brian Koberger was ailing with? Do you think that this was a cause of his past drug use? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Until then, stay safe and I'll see you soon. I don't give a damn. I don't really care about you and your problems. I don't give a damn. Talk way too much. I have heard enough about you and your problems. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. damn, 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 damn. You wanna be, you wanna be, you wanna be.
no shoes. 